Good morning. It's actually afternoon now that I look at the clock. That's how crazy my day has been. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about one of my favorite subjects that I just love to bash on because they make it so easy. They are absolutely... Unprofessional is just not an adequate word for what they do every single day. And they have no conscience about how they are perceived by the American public. And that is what are called, supposedly called, journalists and media outlets. Their conduct truly is reprehensible, criminal comes to mind. So many other words that you just can't, you just cannot believe the depths of their bad behavior and unprofessionalism and in a, a, a election interference and um, the total press, um, the total persecution of another human being because they are they are so irrational that they actually feel they they believe their own crap they have actually brainwashed themselves they're trying to brainwash the American people Thank goodness at least 56 to 57 percent of the American people can see through their pathetic conduct. But it's the other percentage of the Americans who can't see through it, who believe their constant misinformation, um, poor reporting, gaslighting, brainwashing, dangerous misinformation about another human being, about political policies, political, um, the political future, the fact that they, they actually, they, they've seen this person as the president for four years before and every single thing that they talk about that they say he's gonna do, they're already doing it. <laughs> They're already doing it. My mother was so right. She used to me, say to me, Carrie, you know somebody is lying or doing something they, wouldn't, they shouldn't do because they act guilty and they give it away. And that is so what they're doing. It's just unprecedented. You go out and you look at the world news stage and you watch what they are saying about the American news machine and it's, they're a joke. They are belittled and downgraded and the disrespect and the reputation of the American news network, the machine, is in the toilet. They have no reputation left on the international stage and most of the international stage that is an american ally is praying that the majority of the american people can see through this ridiculous performance by the left the left the liberals their media machine which they have bought and paid for their candidate their policies and their leadership it's just astounding. We have a president yesterday who's going to now give more money to overseas wars and people overseas than keeping the money here and giving it to so many people who have no homes, no cars, no jobs, no food, no running water, no home over their head. And he's giving money away that could go to getting these poor people's lives back on track. Why is he doing that? Is he that, is he owned that much by the entities in which that he is giving the money to? What other explanation is there 
except that he's just a complete and total idiot. That's also a pretty good explanation. When you see how President Biden and Vice President Harris have has run this country and their predecessors on the left before them, they've been in power 12 of the last 16 years and there's people that actually believe they should have another opportunity for one reason because they hate somebody else so much they're so blinded by their hate and their ignorance that they can't see through or admit that they were better off four years ago than they are right now today they would rather go outside and eat dirt or dog shit than admit that four years ago, they were in a better financial position than they are today because they would have to eat their ego. They would have to eat what they've been saying for four years. They would have to completely come to the American people and say, we've made a mistake. And they're never going to do that. They're never going to do that. And they don't care about Americans. They don't. Their actions their words, their conduct, their publications, their media presentations do nothing to help the American people. They are beholden to the elitists, the wealthy wealthy, the people who donate money, buying them, literally, and they don't care about the average American that can't make ends meet people that are homeless, people who can't find a job because all the jobs have gone to, Ill, to the illegal aliens. They don't care that American cities are being destroyed, that Americans are being forced out of their apartment complexes because of criminals that they've let walk through this country unvetted. They don't care. I bet you can't name one thing, one thing that they, that they are saying that they support that's actually going to help the average American. I'm not talking about the people on the fringes. I'm talking about mainstream America, the average American, the average middle-class American. There's not one thing that they can talk about that's going to help them and that is not going to bankrupt our land. Because you see, they think they can just keep spending and spending and spending and there be no consequences for that spending. You know in your own budget, if you overspend, what's going to happen? You're either not going to be able to pay something or you're going to have to go borrow money. They, they can't seem to get that principle. And they are obsessed. Obsessed. I swear this is all they think about is the destruction of another human being regardless of what happens to the Americans that they claim they care about. Two weeks from today, America. Two weeks from today. If you have any questions about what the policies are for these two candidates, I would encourage you to go find it yourself. Don't rely on the national news in the United States because they're not reporting the news. They are reporting what the left propaganda machine is demanding that they print and provide to you, the American public, because they are obliged to, because they are bought and owned by the left and the liberals. If you still want a republic and you don't want to live in a, social, a socialized society, you have two weeks to go find out what the difference is. There's never been a more important vote than this one right now. Voting for a female just to vote for a female who has no presidential skills whatsoever is reckless and irresponsible. Believe me, I wish he was. I would love to see an American female president. This woman is not the right one. She does not have presidential skills. It's that simple. Two weeks.